little planet her. Hello planet her. Moon, you scared me. I was writing my essay about myself. Sorry planet her for disturbing you. May I go with my friend, Ganymede? Of course. He's your friend. Thank you, Planet Earth. You're the best. Hello there, Ganymede. Long time no see. I'm glad to see you. Why are you so silent? Nothing, Moon. I'm just shy. You must be one of Earth's moon. Earth's only moon. Oh, my bad. Can I talk to you? Maybe later. Please can we talk now? Not now, sorry. Ganymede, please. We're good friends, remember? I'm not in the right mood. Can you leave me alone? Moon, I'm sorry. Wait. I can't believe that I'm acting rude now. It's okay. Can we talk now? Okay, Moon. Ganymede. Every time I see an asteroid heading to planet Earth, my gravity influences the asteroids to change their trajectory. Great job, Moon. I'm also protecting my fellow moons within Jupiter's orbit. Ganymede, I want to know about you, so that if someone will be asking me about details of my fellow moons, I can answer them. Okay, I'll explain it to you about myself. Do you know what makes me special? I'm the only moon that has magnetic field. I didn't know about that. Since I don't visit others more often. Oh, I think you already forgot details about the others, since it's been a while now. Ganymede. My gravity influenced the Earth's oceans, causing tides. Moon. If I became the only Earth's moon, the waves would likely be bigger. My gravitational pull would create stronger tidal forces, and I appear bigger in the Earth's sky. Oh. I reflect 12% of the sunlight, making planet Earth's night side brighter. Due to my surface mainly consist of ice, I reflect 43% of the sunlight, which is relatively high reflectivity. Moon, you appear brighter, due to your proximity to planet Earth, despite of its 12% reflectivity. I agree with you. 
In fact, I do have a very thin atmosphere, or exosphere. It is primarily composed of oxygen, and it only comes from my icy surface. Additionally, atomic oxygen. Very small amounts of water vapor, likely from ice sublimation, are present in the atmosphere, especially near the poles. In fact, my atmosphere doesn't have greenhouse effect, because of very thin atmosphere, and lack of greenhouse gases that traps heat effectively. Oh, you're a cold moon. Kind of, because I'm far from the sun. My temperature is very hot during daytime, and very cold in my shaded side. It's cold in here. Here, it make you feel warm. Thank you. Ganymede. By the way, thank you for letting me know about you. We're good friends back then, many years ago. Yes, a true friendship will last even a thousand years. Look at this picture from years ago. Wow, good to know, you still have it. Yes, of course, let's take a selfie for keepsake. Moon, you're my best friend. And you're my friend forever, Ganymede.